Well, it's been far too long since I've done a uh, rocket video, as <laughs> some of the viewers have mentioned too. So I thought it was high time we get into another rocket video. So, anyways, thought I'd show you what I got going so far. This is just a, uh, I don't know, couple inch uh, wide tube, gift wrap tube. I just uh, put some primer black on there, kind of get a base coat. Um, and then this is a little bit smaller, like inch and a half or inch and a quarter or something. And I uh, made a little balsa wood nose cone um, on the uh, you know lathe there. You could do this in the drill press. Actually, I think I did this one in the drill press. I had it lying around. And then this little weirdness, uh, I'll show you what I did. It's actually MDF, and uh, I basically stacked up three circles on the bottom. And then that little ring that acts as the transition, um, I just glued a couple of, I cut a couple of rings out and put it on the outside of the tube and then um, filed the taper down in there on the lathe. So I'll kind of show you what I did there. Um, this is an invaluable tool if you have a drill press. It's called a fly cutter. And basically you can uh, undo a little uh, set screw and move this around. I ground a cutter myself on this side and then that's the standard cutter so you can flip it upside down but anyway um, it allows you to cut inside circles and outside circles um, and I, I just cut a bunch of circles with this and you know I'd test fit it um, until I got it right and then I use that to create those transitions um, I'll attempt to put this together real quick and show you what it looks like so probably hard to see in this crazy lighting but you know there, there it is together Gotta take it apart quick because that glue or that uh, uh, what you call paint still a little bit tacky. But yeah, I'll go ahead and sand this down a little bit after uh, this stuff dries to get rid of that cardboard goofiness, and then I'll put probably that metallic blue on it because that's what I have lying around. Uh, also, I got a few fins I cut out that I made kind of like I was thinking this thing could be kind of looking like a missile a little bit. So uh, those are plywood. Again, just stacked them up, cut them out on the bandsaw, and then sanded down the edges. Uh, I'll go ahead and get this stuff a little bit more together and show you the progress. Well, this is another thing. I don't know if you'll be able to see very well on the camera, but um, if you saw on the previous little clip there, um, there's a lots of lots of fuzz that comes up on your spray paint cardboard, especially this cheese ball stuff that I have. So anyway, I took uh, some steel wool and just went all over this and it knocked it down. You can kind of see it looks pretty even now. And that'll help, you know. Oh, that's actually a good angle with the light. Uh, takes off that little fuzz. This one was even worse, I think. But uh, that way, you know, after your little base coat there, you can let that dry. And then uh, that'll help that out as far as your little better finish. I'm no pro finisher, no pro painter, but um, that seems to work all right for me. I should have taped that off. This is the part that goes inside the tube. I actually got paint on it the first time, but I'm going to tape it off for the rest of the coats. So when you guys make yours, I'd tape off anything that's going to be inside the tube. Otherwise it'll have a tendency to glue it in there. So I'll get this going and show you more later. So I'm working on the little motor mount here and just glued it up with a D-sized motor in there and then um, so I'd show you this doing the cardboard. Um, I actually like using a uh, what you call it, exact knife on this versus scissors because otherwise the cardboard bends all over the place. But I've done both and it works. Um, more info on the whole making the motor mount, just check out my little rocket making videos and I'll get this going, show you when it's done. All right, so here's a little motor mount ready to go. Doesn't look very pretty. As you can tell, the uh, circles around the mounts aren't very exact, which is okay. I just wanted to show you how rough these things could look and still uh, be fine. As long as it fits in there, the glue is going to fill in those gaps. I'm going to hot glue this one. Uh, I've used hobby cement in the past, but hot glue ought to be just fine here. So I'm going to try that. All right, so here we go. Rocket's pretty much done. I got the motor mount in there. You can see a little fresh D motor begging to be used. Got the uh, fins going. They seem nice and on there good. So. Hot glue, I think, will work just fine. Got the shock cord, um, some pretty nice thick stuff. I like making it really long in case uh, you haven't watched the other videos. I mentioned that uh, you, it's not a bad idea to have a few feet on the shock cord. And then you can see I did this second half instead of the nose cone popping off. I have the whole top half of the rocket. 
and then the parachute on an eye bolt with the uh, shot cord on the eye bolt too. Went pretty small on the parachute actually. I think this thing's 20 inches across, which for a rocket that's I think five feet long and, and fairly heavy isn't much, um, but it's pretty windy out where I live and I kind of don't, don't want this thing to travel too far, so we'll see how that does. So I'll get this thing all packed up and uh, I'll videotape the launch that I do tomorrow and get this thing up on YouTube. Okay, so here it is all finished up. Uh, I did the final measure, looks like 54 inches, so four foot six inches. Got some Panera bread straws going on there, nice black straws. So hey, if you got a Panera bed, bread nearby, stock up. Uh, but again, yeah, this is only what I don't know, three four dollars, maybe five. Uh, really cheap to do this stuff. So if you haven't tried making your own very own model rockets, go ahead and give that a whirl. Buying something like this by Estes or something that's over four feet and D engines, all that stuff, that's going to cost you some change, probably thirty. 30 40 dollars so this way if you mess it up you're only out a few bucks make another one right so yeah well i'll get this thing up in the air and if you have any questions or any you want some more tips for sure check out those uh, rocket making videos i put up and and feel free to send me a message hope you guys enjoy all right so i got the uh rocket all up here and it's, went ahead and named it the le 2013 because i got a little baby girl on the way Commemorative rocket. So here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. That's a C. It's actually a C motor that fits in a D case. I don't know if you guys can see that much at all, but we'll try. There it is. Uh, so it didn't go up super high. That was pretty fun. All right, let's go see how it did. I'm getting lucky here with them falling less than a hundred feet away. It's kind of nice. All right, so it looks like everything went pretty well here. Uh, the little shock cord still intact. Looks like the parachute looks fine, and nose cone looks good too after the, the flight. So I'd say we had a successful flight there. Uh, nice beautiful sunset going on. I just barely caught enough uh, sunlight to get this video, so I hope you enjoy.